Hey everybody, today we're going to be going over our new single agent CRM. The dashboard got a new look, but we'll be tracking various things which I'm going to cover today. First thing is it's going to have a 30 day tracking here and it's going to be going over website activity and give you percentages like you see here. How many of your leads are subscribed on your smart content, your marketing automation emails. You'll be able to look at your pipeline status, where your leads are actually coming in, whether it be Facebook, CRM, the AE network, or any other outside sources, we'll be able to track those as well. Here are some metrics over the 12 months. So your lead actions, how many listings are being viewed. You can even see it's going to predict how many more you're going to get in the next month, how many searches are being done on the website. And again, the little green section will show you predicted. And then down here will be your lead activity. Which will track various things from listings they clicked on in an email, like you can see for this person, or if they just viewed a listing right on the website, or subscribed, or any type of contact. Over here on the right hand side, you can see there's a little action center. So it'll track your calls log, how many subscribers were added to the smart content, how many leads were updated, and then today's information letting you know hey, to contact five leads that have not been contacted yet. What are your goals for the day? and to update four of the lead statuses. Now, below that, you're gonna see upcoming dates. So this will actually track if anyone has any upcoming birthdays or transaction anniversary. And then here you'll be able to set tasks for yourself as well. So let's go into more of the leads. And you can do so by clicking on lead list right here. And you're gonna notice this has some more features as well. First, it'll have client's name and phone number right there. What is the status of this lead? Where are they at in the process? So if they're uncontacted, again, you'll see that. If you attempted to contact them, are they a buyer, a seller? What are they? When were they created? The last time they were active on the website? Are they currently subscribed to any of the smart content or marketing automation emails? The source, so where did they come from? You can also add tags like you see this one here for residential. In the top right, you can actually decide what columns you do want to show. Here are all of the different ones you can see here. You can also come here to the top right and filter leads based on if they're a buyer, a seller, or a renter. The status, are they active, inactive, or deleted? Again, the lead source. Where are they in the pipeline? So again, you can see all the different categories here. Are they starred? So did you favorite them? And then we can also sort by tags as well and then view the results there let's go ahead though and let's go into a lead here you can do so by clicking on their name so you'll notice this has an updated look as well so here is the first thing you can see is where are you at so have you attempted to contact them are they nurturing are they a dead lead are they under contract or did you close them over here on the left is the contact information so first i'm going to go over here to edit under the phone number Here's where we can put in maybe their address, their birthday, their transaction anniversary. Also assign them if they are a buyer, a seller, or a renter, or any one of these three, or any combination of the three. And you can save that right there. Next is tagging. So you can see here we have various tags to choose from. And then this will also apply on the lead list if you want to sort by tags. This is what we're referring to. Status, when they were uh, added, and then when they were last active. Over here in the top right is where you can star them. So if you want to favorite those, you can. Let's go over here into the middle. So the first thing is the activity, and you can actually filter that as well. And you can see what this lead has been doing, what they're clicking on, every little action. Subscriptions is going to be the smart content. So whether they're subscribed, unsubscribed, what campaign they're set up on, and then it's also going to track any activity that they are doing. The property organizer, that's going to show you if they have, have any saved searches. Or maybe they favorited some listings. So this is where you as the agent can go and add them onto a safe search as well. The client can do this for themselves too. And then history will be maybe any notes that you have. So called on 124, no answer, left voicemail. And you can save that note. You can put a regular note in as well, is looking for lots. You can see there, and then you can actually filter based on those notes too. That is all for the single agent CRM. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at support at agentlate.com or give us a call into our support team. And we'll be happy to answer any questions for you in regards to the CRM. Take care, everybody.